It's one of the scariest places many can think of. The most wonderful to others. A place we haven't really visited beyond low Earth orbit for over 30 years. This is space. Inside the Eagle Nebula, some 7,000 light years from Earth, there's a beautiful region known as the Pillars of Creation. But some astronomers believe that the formation has already been destroyed after a nearby star went supernova some 9,000 years ago. So the light from the supernova has already reached the Earth. But as the shock wave is much slower than the speed of light, it only reached and destroyed the pillars of creation 6,000 years ago. And as the nebula is 7,000 light years away, it will be another millennium until the light from the formation's destruction reaches the Earth. Given the fact all the gas giants in our solar system has rings. One would assume that planetary rings are quite common in the universe. So far, we've found over 5,000 exoplanets, but as far as we can tell, none of them have rings, except one. And it's truly an exceptional exception. It's called J1407b and was discovered in 2012. The rings around this planet have an estimated radius of 90 million kilometers. Saturn's rings are tiny in comparison with a radius of less than 500,000 kilometers. If we replace Saturn with J1407b, its rings would be more prominent and brighter than the moon in the night sky. Understanding the scale of the universe is a challenge. Our solar system alone stretches over billions of kilometers, with planets ranging from the tiny Mercury to the giant Jupiter. Take the Moon, for example, because it's something we can actually see with the naked eye. It feels like it's not that far away. The distance between the Earth and the Moon is 384,400 kilometers. But what if I tell you between the Earth and the Moon, we can fit the not one, not two, not three, but all eight planets in the solar system side by side? And that's just between us and the Moon. The distances between the planets and beyond is just inconceivable. Empty space itself has energy. In every little cubic centimeter of space, whether or not there's stuff, whether or not there's particles, matter, radiation, whatever, there is still energy, even in the space itself. And this energy, according to Einstein, exerts a push on the universe. We call it dark energy. And this is the dominant stuff of the universe, almost three-fourths of the matter-energy content of the universe is this dark energy, and we don't know what it is. Dark energy, unlike matter or radiation, does not dilute away as the universe expands. This has crucial implications for what the universe is going to do in the future. 70% of the energy of the universe resides in empty space, and we don't understand why. But we do know what will happen. If that energy continues to be there, the universe will become cold and dark and empty. Discovering the true nature of dark energy could change our vision of the future dramatically. As it begins to run out of fuel, the sun won't simply fade away to nothing. Its core will collapse, and the extra heat this generates will cause its outer layers to expand.
The sun is now dead. Its remains slowly cooling in the freezing temperatures of deep space. The fate of the sun is the same as for all stars. One day, they must all eventually die, and the cosmos will be plunged into eternal night. All stars eventually will run out of fuel. The temperature of the universe drops. Stars, one by one, in the night sky, will turn off, and there will be no more new stars created. And so, the universe will end not with a bang, but with the whimper.